Hello everybody, this is Roman again uh, from Levitan, New York. How are you doing today? Happy Monday. Uh, we're going to wait a few minutes for people to join us. And while we're waiting, I'm going to make one announcement. I'll follow, I mean, a little bit at the end. This week uh, is a special week for me, for my business. So this week I'm going to do uh, two lives, which is tomorrow and Thursday in Russian. So people who don't understand or don't understand well English will be able to hear the same or similar information that I'm going to do uh, deliver during this week in Russian on Tuesday and Thursday this week. And um, <clears throat> you are free obviously to invite your Russian speaking friends to this if you feel that this is interesting and important and obviously share with others. But we'll get to the substance of today um, live in a second. The other thing I want to remind you guys, those who are looking for a way to exercise and work out uh, every month every Monday through Saturday every morning at 8 30 a.m. Eastern time I'm working out here on Facebook live with people who want to join or who are actually joining and we do a little uh, as a routine that I we do every day and then we do some other strength uh, exercises that again I'm just offering but if you want to do something different but need some extra motivation I'm here to help you to give this extra workout partner so this way you you have some kind of commitment even though it's not real commitment because you're not telling me you're coming so if you want to do that good let me know and i will be watching for you to join before i start my workout but otherwise just uh no 8 30 a.m there is somebody here to to work out with you okay so we give uh, some time and i see some people joining so we're going to go to uh my uh little uh talk today as you see it's not always i'm selling you something i'm not trying to sell you anything i'm just sharing with you my ideas so today i thought about something that um make my mind uh, spin and make my mind think and i wanted to share you with you just some ideas and ideas are about economy about business so let's assume that you are um, a business owner and as a business owner you're obviously in business to make profits. Really, nobody goes into the business to lose money or waste time. So everybody comes to the business to invest something and get something back. So let's just make this little formula here that business equals some investment plus some effort. And our goal, I'll put like an arrow here, but is, is result. Multiplied investment. So in other words, we're putting in something into our business. Money, knowledge, of goods, services, and we want to get something back. And ideally, we want to get it multiplied by at least one and a, I mean, something more than one and different thing something le uh, more than zero so we come into the business we want to get our business going let's assume just for the sake of argument we have this something this business and we want to make sure that people know about our business because you would probably agree if nobody knows about my business it doesn't matter how great products i have i'm not going to get it sold because nobody would come to me to buy it so we have to market the products so Besides developing an idea, which we spoke about it a couple of weeks ago, and creating uh, this something that we're going to offer products or services, we need to do marketing. So let's take a look at marketing and see how it better works. So first we need uh, the, the audience. We need people who will be coming to buy our something products or services and we decide which way or whom we're going to serve now let's say you are really really startup business and you don't have much money and you think your products are good for everybody where do you going to where are you going to start looking for um for your customers are you going to go and knock on each door on the street are you going to go and uh, pay for advertisement on the business or product that nobody knows about yet and um, you actually don't have money to spend to pay? 
or are you going to call your friends and family and say listen i started this great business i believe this product is going to be good for you and uh, everybody else that you know of why don't you come and take a look it costs you almost nothing except for the cell phone uh, that you have to pay anyways to make those phone calls so here we are investing time time i mean we're investing money for the cell phone right and then there's an effort for making calls to let people know i have this new idea i have this new business coming would you agree that this is the most cost efficient and most effective way to say to your friends i have this good product and if they trust you if they know that you are not a person who cannot be trusted to they'll come and take your product and take a look at it right so the best way and the most cost effective way to promote something that you have is recommendation now i already say you will re recommend this product first of all to people who you know and who you trust so that will be a close uh, uh close environment so i'll say friends and family now when you market to your friends and family would you recommend them something that you believe is bad unless you're a bad person you wouldn't right why would you do that to the people who you love or you have a long lasting relationship you don't want to sacrifice long lasting relationship for uh one uh, in time business opportunity that you will come take some money and you will eventually not get any more business coming from the same people because they'll know it's bad and you will lose that relationship you had so you probably would not do that right at least i wouldn't okay so now uh, you're in business and you want to hire people to work for you so uh, there are two ways to pay people one way is to say you work from nine to five and I'll pay you X. And there is a second way. You work until you get X result and I'll pay you Y. So I'll put both on the board and then we'll figure out which one is better. So A, nine to five, X dollars. And B, Let's say Y, you know, Z, Z result, result, uh, result, non, I'll put it this way, A result equals Y dollars. So, what I mean, somebody comes to work, they know whether they do anything or do nothing nine to five they get paid so you a business owner will pay that person regardless of the benefit they bring to your business now second uh, scenario a person comes to you and you pay that person only if he or she delivers a result which way your business will grow faster a or B I mean it's silly question right that's not good you're not going to get anywhere if people will come do nothing and you will be paying them anyways but if person knows without results they're not going to get paid i bet they will work and i bet your business will receive results now in traditional businesses what happens is this uh, somebody who wants to learn the business comes to somebody who knows business very well, learns the business, learns the tricks, lives the business, opens up their practice or business or whatever, and create competition. Now, competition is good because competition helps us, helps the society to get good quality, lower price, and actually... Uh, have people to invest into themselves into their business to get better services and products to people so competition is good and obviously that's the way we all learn we learn from somebody who is better than us 
and we take it further and we can further advance this uh, good quality, good knowledge. But uh, would it be better if you teach somebody and that somebody doesn't leave, but in, in, instead staying with you, helping you to build your business and then helping other people to build their business and those new people still come in and staying with you. So again, let's do this uh, two ways. A, teach, leave, compete, versus B, teach, stay, build together. Wouldn't you say that if I teach Joe how to do my business, and Joe teaches Anne how to do her business, and all of us, each of us, interested in the other's success, and success of the other does not depend on my failure. Actually, what I do does not affect uh, Joe because he is doing his own business, and what Anne does does not affect Joe because again, he or she and she, they're doing their own business, but we all can come together, and each of us in the link wants for the other to succeed do you really want your competition to succeed mm, i mean we're all good people so we want we wish good for others but realistically speaking if we're in business that competing we want to beat that person when you are in business and you're helping your uh so-called competition which is not really competition it's your team people to succeed you you wish them well and you wish them sincerely well so let's sum up this few points and again it's just a couple ideas that came to me that I wanted to share with you because again this week is special for my business and I'm going to spend this week talking about business more than the products that we offer and even though I'll touch on the products as well there is no business without product or service so obviously that's important but uh, today I'm talking about primarily the business side and the way we structure our business so first of all marketing the, which, the easiest way to market something when you have no money to begin with is to go to people who you think will benefit from your product. Agreed, right? We don't want to go to people who do not need our product. And we're going to people who we know because that's the easiest people, is the easiest audience to reach. And we will be telling them about our product if we believe that product is good or service again i'm just using the, uh, this uh, term generically and we know that we are not going to hurt our loved ones or our friends or our relationships we don't want to promote something just for sake of making profit one time and then losing these people so they will not ever come to us again and losing the relationships so obviously the way of recommendation is the easiest way to promote your business just think about it all movies all doctors all uh cars anything you bought in your life about 90 percent of it was based on recommendation where did you get this car why do you like it what is good about it don't you just think about it for a second sometimes people just take it for granted but think about it now obviously we go to our family and friends first again these people who know us and hopefully they trust us from the relationship that we have with them they know we're not are we're not going to take advantage of them we're not going to lie to them so think about that now in terms of uh paying to your employees or in the, in our case in case with our business as a company paying us but the idea is the same would what would you pay to people for the work you've done yourself would you pay more or would you pay less so again we looked at two ways to pay one is nine to five regardless of results you're going to pay second one is when the result is achieved you make the payment an example is very simple the real estate brokers you don't get paid until you get the deal closed so it doesn't matter if you spend five hours or you spend 15 seconds on the deal if you got a result you get paid that's much more uh, reasonable and much more fair way of doing business uh, somebody says, oh, but they didn't do anything. They just did that, like 15 seconds call. Yes, but they got the result. And what do you want them spend time or you want them to get result? 
I bet you want the result. So that's the way in our business we compensate it. Once we produce result, we get the payment. If we waste time doing something and that waste time doesn't bring anything, then obviously we don't get paid which is again fair and it's fair for both us and the employer. Finally, uh, teaching or sharing your knowledge and your skills with other people. How do you want to do it? Do you want to teach somebody who will later leave you and compete with you? Again, nothing bad uh, about competition, but think about it. You want to build the business with people who will stay with you. So what I suggest, teach people, they stay with you and they build with you together. Continue sharing your information happily with people who they like and who people will be um, thankful to them for this sharing of information because it realistically changed in their lives. So that's the information for today. I hope it sparks some uh, thought in your brain. Uh, if you find it interesting, please share it with your friends and family and um, let's talk about it more on Wednesday. Uh, again, uh, announcement I did in the beginning. Tomorrow and on Thursday, I'll do this presentation in Russian. And uh, this is a very important week for my business. So I'll talk more about it uh, later or why it's so important. But again, uh, Tuesday and Thursday this week is going to be in Russian. Please invite your Russian speaking friends if they don't understand English, if they cannot get the benefit of today's presentation and share it. Uh, otherwise, comment, let me know what you think about it. Reach out to me directly if you want to find out more about my business. And I wish you all well and have a good evening. I will see you tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.